Okay, we're back, and so is the guy that uh, works on my neighbor's lawn. So I can move my hand up and down on the strings. We're not getting that weird brrr, bubbly noise that we were getting before. I'd have to say that that input jack board substantially improved the... Uh, the, the usefulness of the GR300 patch in the VG99. And uh, th that, works, that works very, very well. Let's check to see how the, uh, the settings look on the uh, input screen. It, I, I think there's a little bit more separation. I, I don't have the video right in front of me to AB between the two. But uh, I am convinced that this is uh, definitely something that, that if you're serious about using the VG99 and you're going to be using a lot of uh, piezo-based guitars, this is definitely something to, to look into. And in addition to filtering off some of the low-frequency energy that you get from uh, piezo pickups, this is obviously going to help in any situation where you can get some uh, unwanted, unmusical low-frequency energy like whammy bar rumble. It could be another issue. But definitely this sounds better than uh, what we were working with uh, previously. So, here we are using the uh, GK3 equipped guitar. So uh, I would say that the uh, RMC VG99 uh, uh, input board is definitely something you should look at if you're going to be using a, a, a piezo guitar in particular with the VG99. It really seems to clean it up, uh, makes the, uh, the GR300 simulation circuit work so much better, and uh, leads the rest of us to ask why this wasn't included when they uh, built the VG99 in the first place. But... Uh, Thank you very much again, uh, Richard McLeish, for at, at least going through the trouble of engineering a uh, retrofit solution that we can add to the VG99 uh, to uh, make it such a great guitar synthesizer. Thanks, Richard.